Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Peppa. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Peppa. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Peppa. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle, and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children? We are going on a creepy, crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. Okay, you can bring 
Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Then let's go. <laughs> Here is the creepy crawly safari. Will we see big scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. <gasps> Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming! Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <coughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! <coughs> Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <coughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> 
Ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike. <laughs> What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> This is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello! Hi. Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig! I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's, Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this! Wow! The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Today, Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa! <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, my little ones. Granny? Funny. Granny is playing another little game with her friends. It's not a game. It's an historical reenactment of an ancient time, the 1960s. Ooh. So, I'm dressed as a hippie. What is a hippie? It's what Grandpa and I were a long time ago. Hippies loved colourful clothes. Yes, those were good times. And I've got costumes for you and George. Pepper and George are dressed as hippies. Have a nice time. I'll see you later. Uh, 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 hang on, Grandpa. You have to dress up too. What? But I... Uh, if you I, don't uh... join in, you're a square. Why did you say Grandpa is a square? A square is what hippies called people who were grumpy and boring. I'm not grumpy or boring. So I suppose I'll join your little game. Good. I found these clothes in the back of the cupboard. Wow. This is my old flowery shirt and my velvet bell-bottom trousers. <laughs> Maybe this will be fun after all. Follow me, everyone. We're meeting my other hippie friends in the garden. Grampy Rabbit is dressed as a hippie. Groove! 
Goofy Man? Madame Gazelle and Granny Elephant are dressed as hippies too. Out of sight, dudes. Freak out, baby. Do you cats dig our bean machine? What? He means, do you like the van? Oh, yes. It's very nice. So now everyone's here. What happens? We're going to do things that hippies did in the 1960s. Well, I was there at the time, but it's so long ago, I can't remember what we did. If you can remember it, you weren't there. Hippies played music. And sang songs. Groovy Rainbow, hear my song. Flowers. They wore them on their heads. <laughs> there you go. Flower power. Flower power. Hippies wanted to be one with nature. We wanted to save the planet. We do that at Playgroup. Save the planet. <laughs> That's right. The children have been learning about nature. <laughs> we have been saving the planet by planting a little tree. Pepper and her friends like saving the planet. Trees are wonderful living beings. When we were hippies, we used to hug them. Oh. Let's all give the trees a hug. Come on, Grandpa. We're all doing it. Well, I suppose things can't get any sillier. <laughs> the trees like hugs. Of course they do. Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, chill out, daddy Oh, Rain is part of nature. And it's only a little shower. The rain is stopping already. The rain has stopped. But now the ground is all wet, it's probably time to stop the hippie game. Um, did hippies jump in muddy puddles? Well, I don't quite remember. Jumping in puddles is really fun. And it is like fun. <laughs> this is groovy. Out of sight, dudes. Right on, man. It's a gas. <laughs> I love being a hippie. No, hippies love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Pepper and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! What are you doing? I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Hooray! Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. 
The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <coughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr Bull! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or oh, a ladder? What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on, this is my ladder. Yes, lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye! Bye! See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! 
rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad. Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad! Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. Let's play detectives! This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives, and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective. Club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh... And I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more! <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, <laughs> we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grampy Rabbit. Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic! Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Help! Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help! We've got ourselves a job! To the police car! Did someone shout for help? Yes! We've got an emergency! What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, 
I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. <laughs> Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! Higher! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, <laughs> everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I 
and Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh dear, please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye, it is a wink and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes. It was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And monkey has a cough. <coughs> Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Daddy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> shiver me timbers. Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. 
That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, jump up and down, and quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. <laughs> Pepper is drawing a picture. <laughs> Look, I've drawn me and George. <laughs> That's lovely, Pepper. When I was a little piggy, I used to do drawings in my diary. What's a diary? It's a storybook you make about the things you do each day. This is my old diary. Ooh. This day, I got up and I played in the garden. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Next day... You got up, played in the garden. No. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Then the circus came to town. Here is the big tent with acrobats flying about. Wow! I want to keep a diary. Good idea, Peppa. You can start your very own diary. Oh, goody. I'm going to draw in my diary every day. It is the next morning. Peppa is asleep. Morning time! I got up. <laughs> I played in the garden. Then what happened? <laughs> oh, yes. George's dinosaurs are good. But that is not interesting enough for my diary. Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig are getting lunch ready. Mummy, I've run out of things to put in my diary. Oh, why don't you tidy your room? But it needs to be something exciting. You went to the circus. Hmm, I've got an idea. Daddy Pig, please fetch the toy basket. Right you are, Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up! Roll up! See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a mummy pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Hoopla! Hooray! Now it's Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? Ta da! Whoa! Here's my old unicycle. I used to ride it a lot before I met Mummy Pig. Whoa! Do be careful, Daddy Pig. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Ah! Where are the brakes? Ah! <laughs> Ta da! Hooray! That was the best circus ever. Now I've got lots to put in my diary. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. <clears throat> Today I got up, I played in the garden, then the circus came to town. Ta-da! What a busy day. Yes, and tomorrow I will do lots more things and draw them in my diary. Peppa loves keeping a diary. Everyone loves keeping a diary. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me! 
<laughs> You're never going to get me! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello! Hello, Rebecca! <laughs> what are you playing? We are running! Running is good, but can you hop? Yes, I can! Hop! 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 That's not hopping, Peppa. That's jumping. Oh! Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg. Like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good at hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That's it. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> hopping is fun. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping. Like this. <laughs> Super duper. But can you skip? Yes, we can skip. Skip, 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 skip. skip, 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 skip. <laughs> That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh. Skipping is when you hop on one leg. Then hop on the other leg, like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh. George is good at skipping. <laughs> <laughs> I can skip the highest. <laughs> I can skip the longest. <laughs> I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <laughs> Jump, jump, jump! Peppa is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? Like this? Oh! <laughs> That's impossible! I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump, hop, skip, Jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Ooh. Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash. Skip, splash. Jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> this is the best. Peppa loves hop, skip, jump. Everyone loves hop, skip, jump, especially in muddy puddles. Pepper and George are in America on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view. It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh... <laughs> Here is Mr Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No! This is the desert! Oh. Has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. 
Look, George. This was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and Are miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr Buffalo again. I'm not Mr Buffalo. I'm Mr Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow, and you dug that hole all by yourself. No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. <coughs> There's an eagle! <coughs> wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay. Just watch out for the rapids! Yes, lots of fun. Look, caves! Wow, just think. We might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. 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 Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Pepper and George are camping at the seaside with Granny and Grandpa Pig. I love camping in your tent. Oh, we love it too. Over the years, we've camped in the mountains. In the jungle? We've even camped on an iceberg. Ooh. We can camp anywhere with all the comforts of home. <coughs> and just like at home, the naughty birds try to eat my raspberries. <coughs> you naughty seagulls. Shoo! Shoo! <coughs> to the sea now? Yes, let's go and have fun. I'll stay here and guard my raspberries. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to play by the seashore. Watch out for the wave, George. Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, look what George has found. It's some old rope. It's sea treasure. <laughs> Another wave, George! Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Look! Shells! More sea treasure! Hooray! <laughs> Watch out for the wave! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor Granny, you've got your feet wet. <laughs> yes. Oh, plastic bottles. They don't belong on the beach. And here's a bottle with something inside. It's a message in a bottle, Peppa. Ooh. What does it say, Granny? It says, hello, my name is Little Reggie Rabbit. I am on holiday with my mummy and daddy. Who's Little Reggie Rabbit? I don't know, but he's left a telephone number. Can we ring him, Granny? Why not? Hello, Grumpy Rabbit speaking. Can we talk to Little Reggie Rabbit, please? I'm afraid there isn't a Little Reggie Rabbit here. But there is a big Reggie Rabbit. That's me. Oh. So where is Little Reggie Rabbit? Well, that was me. A, a long time ago, mind you. Little Reggie Rabbit was Grampy Rabbit when he was a little boy. Oh! We found your message in a bottle. What? But I must have thrown that bottle into the sea a hundred years ago. But we don't throw bottles into the sea anymore, do we, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no. Too much plastic in the sea. We found lots of sea treasure on the beach. Mainly plastic. Uh, did you pick it up? Yes. Good for you. Maybe you can make something from it. Then you can be like me. Grampy Rabbit likes making things out of old junk. Yes. Thank you, Grampy Rabbit. Bye-bye. Ah, ah. The cheeky seagulls are eating Grandpa's raspberries. <gasps> Shoo! Shoo! Grandpa, Grandpa, look what we found on the beach. <laughs> it's sea treasure. So it is. Well done. <coughs> oh, if only I had something to scare these birds away. Let's make something with the sea treasure. What a good idea, Granny Pig. We can use this rope to string all these bits and bobs together. Granny Pig has made a thing to keep the birds away. Hooray! And now it's home time. Helmets and goggles, children. Yes, Granny! All aboard and off we go! Bye-bye, Seaside! <laughs> Grandma's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum, brum. Grandpa's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum. All day long. Her <laughs> <laughs> and her friends are at the playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend the day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! me. OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun. I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mm. Mm, delicious! The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone! Bye! Nino, Nino, Nino! <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes! This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. <coughs> it is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! 
What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion. Bye-bye. Bye. So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency. Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the saw run again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Over. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. This is Madame Gazelle. Peppa and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Pepper and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police car. 